Hey, I'm Damian from SkatingCars.com. Today we're in Poland in Piekary Śląskie. I really recommend this place. It's a really great place, good surface to ride on. If you're from Silesia or around in Poland, it's really great surface to ride on rollerblades. And not only that, there's also a great playground for your youngest kids, as well as for the little ones and the bigger ones. Next to that, on the other side, maybe you can't see it in the camera, but there's a pool. There's a water park. Next to that, there are a lot of courts here. Volleyball courts, football courts. A really great place here. Okay, but today we are here to record a few lessons. And in the beginning, we will record the scooter. The scooter, in my opinion, is the most important exercise to greatly ice skate and rollerblade because those, as I always say, are very similar disciplines. I as well am an instructor in both those disciplines, so I know how this all looks like. There are very similar sports. You can easily jump from one discipline to another. And the whole year practice and upgrade your skills. The scooter as the name says, it's all about the scooter, yet we will be doing that on rollerblades. And now I will show you how this exercise looks. I will ride from different directions so you can see how my body movements look like when I do a scooter. Later I will ride forward and explain to you how, how to do this exercise and explain why it's so important. Good, now I will demonstrate the scooter. Okay, that's how the scooter looks like. The scooter is a very important exercise because it teaches us balance on one leg. And this exercise is ideal for people who are just starting their adventure with rollerblading and are just beginning to learn the basics. So they are trying to find their balance. But it's also a good exercise for intermediate skaters and for pro skaters. The scooter teaches us balance on one leg. And that is the key if you perfectly skate on one leg, that on both, it will be a lot easier for you. And that is the quintessence to become a pro. If you will ride good and have great balance on one leg, then you will be great at riding with both legs on the ground. And now this exercise is for beginners as well as for advanced skaters. Why? Because now I'm doing the scooter for someone who's a beginner. Have a look, the position doesn't change. I'll explain that in a second, but that is also a scooter. Almost always I have two legs on the ground. All the time I had both legs on the ground just for a second I had one off the ground. Now this is for advanced. Now with a turn, that is also a scooter. And now what is the difference? Being on just one leg. And that is the fun thing with a scooter. Because we start from the basics for a moment, I pick up my leg and the whole time I practically have my both legs on the ground and I try to extend my stay with each push just by a little bit so when I skated that much on one leg in just a minute I will try to ride that much add just a little bit more centimeters and systematically over time I try to prolong my slide on one leg so I start like this and now that I got here, I try to do it longer. Just a bit longer. And a little longer on one leg. A 
First of all, it teaches balance on one leg. Second of all, it teaches effective rebound, not just impressive rebound. Very often a beginner pushes off like this, the leg just goes in the back like that. And the whole energy is just lost like that. Right here, it's all about that after pushing off, is that you push off and you take your leg back on the ground. Close to the ground so you don't lose a lot of energy. And close to the ground. Now that I know that much, I try to do that longer. Now that is great for anyone who is just starting out on roll blades to extend standing on one leg. But we already know that the scooter is for balancing on one leg. But it also teaches us an effective rebound. That is crucial because I kind of compare it to a bicycle. As if you sit down on a bike, assuming that there is no additional help, two wheels and the pedals, and I try to keep my balance sitting on the bike and trying not to fall off. How long will you last on the bike without you falling? Just a moment, right? If someone is more experienced that can say, okay, I can manage that for a longer time. Yet, it will be easier if you just started moving. Pedal a little bit. And that's what the scooter teaches. The effectiveness of the push has a huge impact on how long I will last on one leg. Look, now I'm not pushing off, even true I skate really well and long, and I am able to withstand on this one leg, but when I start skating, I am able to withstand a lot longer, without a problem. This is the rule about the bike method. Your job is to really practice the scooter, but remember to avoid making mistakes. It seems to be easy, but just like I said in the beginning, I'm throwing you in deep water. And you try to do this your own way. I will tell the biggest mistakes in doing the scooter. First of all, please remember that if, if this is my scooter, then we imagine that this is actually my scooter. Here is the handlebar near the knee so that you lean. And here you need to get a hold of this handlebar and the other leg is in the back. The biggest mistakes ever made while doing the scooter are... The scooter is here on the side. We need to create one line. Toes. Knee and the head here with your shoulder. Here together we need to have one line. Ideally it's if you have your knee cover your toes. Because if the knee is bent, ideally it's if it covers right here. We do that because it's a lot easier to keep our balance this way if I have this line straight. Toes, your knee, head. It's a lot easier to withstand this than doing that. And now I'm looking for... And here my joints are hurting. And doing that you can injure yourself. Look here. Middle part of the wheel has to be exactly straight. The head is over the leg in front of it. The head always shows that it's first. We ride forward, we need to have our head in the front. If we speed up a little, we can straighten our back a little. But during all the work where we push off, our head is always in the front. Nobody pushes off doing like this. Everyone who speeds up or pushes off is always leaning forward. The scooter we do that on one leg and then on the other. We are learning how to prolong the stay on just one leg. And that is for beginners. And for advanced folks that you know how to balance for a while, you can start doing turns. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit when you are doing the scooter. I push away, I try to do some turns on the inner and outer edges. And I also try to withstand that 
with stand that is for the advanced skaters too. This is knowledge about the inner and outer edges of skating. For the beginners the lessons here is to keep a straight line, but the scooter not only teaches us an effective way to push off, with standing and keeping our balance on one leg, it teaches us the proper way to ride. Because if you're a complete beginner and you earlier saw the penguin that I showed, it's the most basic method to get yourself going into the action. This way I have both of my feet on the ground all the time. The scooter will teach you the proper way of riding, more professionally. I will show you why. It's going to be double scooter. Now I will demonstrate. What is the difference? The double scooter. I push off, I put my other leg in. And now this leg is my scooter. The double scooter is nothing else but normal skating. It teaches us how to move our body weight. Remember, when you do the double scooter, also try to prolong the stay on one blade. That is why this exercise is so cool. In my opinion, it's the most important thing for beginners to learn. It teaches us many things from keeping balance, to pushing off, to riding real nice and professional. Thanks to that, that we do that a couple of times, you will really feel more confident on roll blades. The double scooter is the way to skate really. And now focus on this. During the singular scooter I tried to keep my line straight. But take a look here. If you focus on other roller blades, we don't just skate forward all the time. I push it off and I'm just going straight. When you ride you go a little to the right, a little to the left. You do a zigzags. A little here, a little there. And now the double scooter do it this way. I push off a little to this side, I put my other leg up and go to this side. This is the normal way to skate. It's a really good idea to exercise this normal way to skate by doing the double scooter. Okay, remember effectiveness of pushing off? We don't do something like that. The leg is close to the ground. After pushing, I go back here to my position. Do you remember the position? If you don't, I invite you to check out my previous videos. Here in the width of the hips, we need to return with our legs. Avoid riding like this. If you are still at this level of riding, then that means you need to really learn how to do the scooter. And the scooter after pushing off came back to original position, here in the width of the hips. Alright, so if it comes to the scooter, I think that is it. In a bit there will be new videos on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and to like this video and hit the bell, which will inform you about more videos that will come out and now in this season videos will be coming out regularly. There will be a lot more exercises. Like all those comments you comment, I take a note of every single one. There will also be special videos about braking during fast rides. There will really be a lot of new great things. Thank you and see you soon. Hey.